Well, it is summertime, and that means our project lists are growing these days. Our do-it-yourself experts, Kara and Tim Pasley, are here with us this morning to give some advice on do-it-yourself projects. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. First off, we want to talk about you have some classes coming up. Tell us about those. Right. Well, actually, we love DIY because it mm -hmm. really empowers people, you know, when you can step back and look at something that you've created with your own hands, you know, you just feel accomplished. So that's yeah. why we started, wanted to start these We've enjoyed classes. it so much that we want to share it with others. That's why we started the blog a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and that's why we're going to start these classes. Um, we're going to provide the space, the material, the tools, and hopefully the instructions to start them from the beginning and walk them all the way through the process to where they can walk out with a finished product. So it's not just people sitting around uh, listening to you guys lecture them. No, They're no, act no. They'll actually get to, You're gonna to get make some stuff. Right. Absolutely. And the first class is about concrete? Yes, we love concrete. And I know a <laughs> lot of people look at concrete or think about concrete concrete and mm -hmm. say, are we going to pour a driveway? What are we going to do? <laughs> right. Really, your imagination is the only thing that's going to limit you with concrete. You can, you can do anything. We made all these projects with just a $5 bag of concrete. A $5 bag? Yeah. That's so right. you, you can really make economical. This. Absolutely. And what do we have here? Um, well, over here is a picture frame, and you can see how we put a really cool texture on it. We love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Created this concrete letter. Um, can do all sorts of letters, numbers. Yeah, and, and then off containers are really easy to do. Yes. You can make them all shapes and sizes to hold flowers or, you know, your lemons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Very cool. I like the letter a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Very neat. And uh, there are also some more extensive projects you Absolutely. can do with right. concrete, and I think we have some pictures of those. Right. These are all small, but you can actually do whole tabletops or countertops. Here's a tabletop that we did for a friend. We absolutely love that. Yeah, and that was just done with a simple bag mix that you can get from a local hardware store, but I think we also have a picture of a wall that we did that's a, it's a little more high-tech product but the thing the great thing about that is it makes it simple as well it almost goes on like drywall mud and that's just a regular drywall wall that we created to look like you know a nice industrial concrete wall that's it's called Ardex it's one of our favorite products and it seems like that's such a popular look these days too with concrete and right. brick and, that and the whole nine yards natural. that industrial look Absolutely. So anybody can do this. Are you going to offer other classes as well or just starting with the concrete and going from there? We will offer others. We wanted to start with this just because we love concrete and the possibilities are endless. So. And where will these classes be held again? At our shop, uh, 814 East 6th Street and kind of in downtown Tulsa. And you can get more information about it on our blog. Yeah, so here's the information uh, you need to know to sign up for the DIY Concrete classes, you can do that again on their blog. It's carapasleydesigns.blogspot.com. So much cool stuff. Thank you for coming in, guys.